to a problem we see quite often throughout downtown Portland right here. Used needles littered throughout the city. It's not a new problem, but it's one that's getting worse. Now the organizations cleaning them up are finding that they are picking up many, many more. Jamie Seymour getting answers as to what is behind the rise in all of these syringes. Jamie? Liz, just in the last fiscal year, downtown Portland Clean and Safe collected more than 180 thousand syringes just here in the downtown corridor and while many of those were found on the streets and in public areas they say it appears a majority of people are starting to utilize those safe syringe drop boxes placed around old town from thousands of bags of trash picked up to cleaning graffiti tags downtown portland clean and safe has been busy this past year but especially when it comes to collecting used needles and while they still see plenty in gutters and sidewalks, much of those needles are coming from safe syringe drop boxes in downtown hotspots like Bud Clark Commons and 4th and Davis. A sizable and a notable increase in the needles found in the safe uh, deposit boxes, which is good in that people are utilizing though. That's what we want. We want to el eliminate as much as possible, especially uncapped needles in the public right away. But when it comes to those needles, clean and safe numbers show an exponential change in recent years going from less than 5,000 needles collected in 2014 to more than 180,000 this past year, something executive director Mark Wells attributes to the opioid crisis. The organization works alongside other government entities like Multnomah County, which says the big jump between mid-2020 and 2021 could be due to a COVID safe change in their syringe exchange program going away from one used for one clean transactions to dissuade crowds and people lining up. People could dispose of all the different syringes that they brought into us, whether they were like just free or in sharps containers, um, and that we would give people uh, the supplies they needed and as many syringes as they felt they were going to use. Going beyond the areas covered by Clean and Safe, Kim Taves with Multnomah County says they've actually seen a decrease in people coming in for needles likely signaling a change in the substances users are opting for. But they're still collecting hundreds of thousands of syringes from the area. I think that there is a little bit of a shift right now in drug use and in drug availability, and people are smoking their drugs more than they're injecting. Even as these cleanup efforts like needle deposit boxes are shown to work, Wells says it's impossible to ignore the greater issue. I think it's just really, really being honest with ourselves and saying we have a, a very severe drug problem. Uh, we have individuals that need uh, reliable and timely access to drug treatment. In addition to sterile syringes and new sharps containers, Multnomah County's needle exchange program also provides overdose kits, kits safe sex supplies and referrals to mental and medical care and substance treatment centers. And they hope by providing these kinds of resources, it can reduce public health risks like the spread of HIV and hepatitis C. Reporting live in downtown Portland, Jamie Seymour, Coin 6 News.